Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we discuss uh, the hashtag the fine preprocessor directive and we want to use it to create some macros. In the previous episode we discussed and we said uh, that we can do two things using the define preprocessor directive uh, that is to create symbolic constants and uh, to create macros and in this episode we will cover macros. Now, as you can see in here uh, that we have an example, we have defined a symbolic constant of pi and the value for the pi is basically 3.14159 and this is a symbolic constant use of the defined preprocessor directive. Basically, this usage is also a macro, but instead of having a formula or having some calculations in here, we are just uh, defining a constant. Now, let's go and see our macro. We have defined a macro of circle area and you can see it also has an argument. And whenever this macro is being used in the program, this macro will be replaced by this expression in here. So let's go and see the example. We have created a variable area and uh, for the variable area we have used the, the macro circle area and the argument we have provided for. Now before compiling the program the compiler is going to replace uh, the circle area macro basically with this expression in here because it's defined in here the expression that needs to be replaced and basically this is going to happen before compiling the program so first uh, the symbolic constants are going to be replaced with the numbers that they have been defined to so pi will be replaced with the actual number of pi and secondly the circle area macro is going to be expanded into this expression that we have defined in here and the program will continue compiling and it will be compiled and if we want to print the value of this area variable we will be able to get the value correctly let's go and run this program and you can see that we have got the value and the calculation has happened using the macro now, uh, one other thing is very important, uh, the use of these parentheses in here. We have used so many parentheses in here and uh, the reason for that is that, for example, if we have 4 plus 2 in here and then if we don't have uh, the parentheses, then uh, the order of evaluation of this expression is going to be completely changed. Suppose that we don't have the parentheses in here, the order of evaluation will definitely change. This part of the expression is going to be calculated first, which is, which is going to affect the output of the program. And that's why the parentheses are very important. And that's why we have repeatedly used the parentheses for the expansion of the macro. I would like you to also note that um, instead of using the macro circle area, we can also use uh, the function circle area to basically do the same task as the macro does. And functions are indeed more safer to use because whenever we are trying to return inside a function, the return type is always checked by the compiler and that makes a using of a function more safer than using a macro. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned.